This is the D-Link DR612 wireless N300 router that frustrated the hell out of my head last week because I wanted to reset it. To make the matters worse, if you go to the manual, the manual is just three pages. Of course, it has a combined reset button with WPX that there is no instruction in the manual. I couldn't even find any on the internet on how to do it, but I finally figured it out. So let me show you. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot. You know, I always tease people when they have problem, I tell them to Google it. When it came to how to reset the D-Link uh, DIR612 router, it was a different case. The official website uh, showed how to reset it. But the unfortunate thing here is that the router image they used for that was completely different from mine. It has a separate dedicated reset button. But the, my own was completely different. So this is my own router, the DIR612, but this time around it is the N300 wireless series. So now it has a combined WPS and reset button. While this route appears the name DIR612 on the body, the way to actually find that three-page manual online is to search for D-Link uh, wireless N300 router. So that's the way to find that. So now what I now learned from so much pain and frustration and trial and error is that this button is dual operation. So to, for you to get the reset, you have to like press in while pushing down why pressing in so if you press it in while pushing it in a bit you will feel another kind of click that is from below if you press it in still straight there's uh, another click you'll feel but so once you put it on this part also let me show you how to reset if you put it on the one light will start flashing which on the right uh the wireless in the middle and the power is on the left so once it finishes uh the light will be steady if you double press the WPS button, the wireless will start flashing, showing you that WPS has been activated. But now I'm going to push down and hold down the reset button. And you can start counting from now because it's like almost 30 seconds. Uh, before it resets. So once it resets, the one but the one light will start blinking. Then you know it has reset uh, because once whenever you start uh, whenever you start the router, it will show that one light blinking, checking for DHCP connection to automatically connect. So I have to just put this video out there in English because I actually saw one video about this router on YouTube, but it was in kind of Malaysian language or something, so I couldn't understand anything. So you're still counting the seconds. <laughs> That's how long I've been holding it, and it's very, very painful. So I'll keep holding it, I'll keep holding it, I'll keep holding it. So once you see the one light start blinking the air, yeah, there's it, there's that. So that blinking now shows that it has reset the router. So once it's reset, you wait for it to finish booting up and then we can now go in. So to confirm that, I'm going to log into the modem to show you because it had a different admin password that wasn't mine. The ISP guy who came to work for my network changed it after I gave him access and he didn't tell me. So I couldn't reach him. I couldn't reach the company. So I have to reset my router and, you know, put up my stuff. So as you can see now, uh, 190.168 login, it will now show you that this is like the first time you're logging into this. It won't ask you for password. You have to set up everything all together. So I have to put this video out there because I suffer so much pain and frustration that I wouldn't want any other person to suffer on this router. It, it's a good router, very strong uh, signal and all that, but then how will somebody make a reset up to that 25 seconds or 30 seconds? Well, if you like this video or this video helped you, click on the subscribe button, like, subscribe, and let me hear from you in the comment section. Bye. Subscribe. I'll see you.